Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. This is the voice of the Holy Spirit Ministry. And my name is Apostle Marvin Omede. I'm sent by God to teach power to hear from God. And to make the ministry of this Spirit popular. On this channel, we share testimonies on heavenly encounters, meeting Jesus, meeting the angels, meeting the Holy Spirit, and the host of heaven. What we call the seer's anointing. God wants to bring you into this realm. God wants to bring you and your family into this realm. To enjoy fellowship with him. I can remember the Heavenly Father told, telling him, God the Father, I said, Marvin, go and show them the heartbeat of my love. When you share this testimony, you are revealing to them the heartbeat of my love for them. God loves you people and he cares for you. He wants you to know it through his broadcast in the name of Jesus Christ. Every day shall be a brand new day for you. His mercies will visit you. His blessings will visit your family and will decorate your life in the name of Jesus Christ. It was Peter that said, he said, where shall we go? Where are we going to go, Lord? For you are the word of eternal life. God has brought his word to you in a new level, in a new dimension. May you not miss him in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, if you have not subscribed up to now, subscribe as you want and share this encounters. It's a new dawn for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are blessed and shared. Share and let others benefit and be blessed as you like the broadcast in Jesus' name. God bless you. It's your turn to see. It's your turn to see. It's your turn to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It's your turn to move into realms of divine visitation, realms of heavenly encounters, realms of fellowship with the Holy Spirit, where you can ask Jesus and the Holy Spirit direct questions. <laughs> awesome God we serve. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Praise Master Jesus. I still welcome you to today's broadcast. Today's program on Sears Anointing and Heavenly Encounters, where we worship and appreciate God, where we share encounters and testimony. Your season is here in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have been following us and watching the broadcast, please continue. I want to be hungry, hunger more, desire more, stay in His presence, and you will meet your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. We we'll bless God for you. Let's take this song. Say, I will lift God's name higher. I will lift his name higher. I will lift Jesus higher. Above all the name, so I will lift God's name higher. I will lift his name higher. I will lift God's name higher. Above all the name, O oh Lord, lift his name higher. I will lift God's name higher. I will lift God's name higher. Above all in your life, lift the name of Jesus higher. I will lift his name higher. In your family, lift his name higher. He said, If I be lifted up, I will draw all men on to me. Lift his name higher, you will see him. Exalt him, you will see him. Magnify him, you will see him. Glorify him, you will see him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Obash eku yeba las ote gaya adola. Vayakos eku daba sheku guyada. Zieko telo darabada. Igol yato. Father, want to say thank you. For everyone gathered today to see, to watch, to fellowship with you. Open their eyes that they may see. Open their ears that they may hear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, the same grace you took from Moses and multiplied upon the 70 elders. Let it be distributed today. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace to see visions and revelations. The grace to prophesy. He said, shall come to pass in that day. And I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. Your old men shall dream, dream your young men shall see vision. E bagos e kuye bagada e lato regas e kutu bajaga e swagada le aseku yagada. Manifest yourself, O Lord, and let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Let everyone watching this broadcast go with a part of His anointing. Go with a part of His anointing. Go with a part of His grace in Jesus' name, and they shall return back with testimony in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. God bless you richly. We are appreciated. We are lifted. Thank you for your time spent here. Thank you for sharing the broadcast. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for being a subscriber already. Thank you for inviting other people to subscribe in the name of Jesus Christ. I just want to thank God for you and those of you that are eager and still hungry to see and to hear in the spirit. God will grant you your heart desire the way he did for mine in the name of Jesus Christ. The same God that visited me and took me to heaven and showed me things that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. God will reveal himself to you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is again Apostle Marvin Omede. I must send by God to teach power to hear from God and to make the ministry of the Spirit popular and I celebrate God for his hand upon my life and this ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. The same God that lifted me to the level of 
a realm of the seer's anointing and heavenly visions. That same God will visit you. If you are a minister here and you desire this grace, God will visit you. If you are a pastor, God will visit you. If you are an evangelist and apostle, a prophet, God will. If even a teacher, God will visit you. If you are just a church member, a believer in Christ, God will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive grace. Receive grace. On our tip session today, we shall be sharing a very sensitive, uh, you know, a part of the seer's anointing is to abide in his presence and be sensitive to spiritual instructions. Why do I say that? I say abide in God's presence and be sensitive to spiritual instructions from whom? From your spiritual leaders, from your mentors, from those that God has laid on your path. Be very sensitive. So I said, I was praying. I said, God will give us the grace to recognize them when we see them. That's an extra grace. Remember the story, we shall be reading uh, shortly from 2 Kings. Remember the story of Elijah and Elisha. Since the day that Elijah told Elisha to follow, Elijah, Elisha began to follow tenaciously, cautiously, humbly, until he, he, he began to sense that this man will soon leave. He said, I will follow you wherever you are going to. Then Elijah did not write books like in our days that we read from our mentors. Because this day, you may never see any of your mentors, but you read their testimony, you read their encounters. But the one Elijah Elisha could do in those days was to follow Elijah, and he did. Then something happened in Second Kings. Elijah asked Elisha, "Say, what do you want from me?" Now that you are following me everywhere, you are reading all my books, you are watching my videos, what do you want? Tell the Holy Spirit what you want. As you watch this broadcast, let your heart be pounding. Lord, I wish. Lord, I wish. Lord, I desire. Lord, I desire. I can remember what my spiritual daughter saying. He said, when I watched, no, it was not even a video. It was an audio I sent. He said, sir, as I listened to the audio, first of all, she said, I listened again, 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 and again, and again. He said, sir, as I listened to the audio, I was desiring my heart. Lord, let this same grace rest on me. Let this same grace rest on me. Let, she desired it. And she listened again and again. Now, you are privileged to watch this video. Before the video started shooting this, uh, Evelyn encounters on video, she has already gone to heaven. True audio's testimony because she desired it and she stayed and she listened to instruction. So our tip for today is to be sensitive to instructions from your spiritual mentor. Those you honor and respect, the Bible said you will get their reward. If you honor a pastor and respect him, the reward that follows a pastor will follow you. The blessings and the benefit of an apostle will follow you. The blessing and benefit of a prophet will follow you. Once you desire, they are grace and honor them. You don't know the story. How Elisha honored and stayed. And pour water on the hands of Elijah. Mazokiebulada is koda. Riaka zoitaba. Every habit and character. Every distraction that is to take you away from your blessings. God will shout at them today in the name of Jesus Christ. It's just one simple tip today. Be diligent and be sensitive to the instructions from your mentor so that you can get all that they have to deliver. When Elijah asked Elisha that question, Elisha, Elisha responded. He said, I want a double portion of your anointing. In 2 Kings 2 verse 10, look at what Elijah told Elisha after he asked that. He said, and he said, that has asked a hard thing. This thing you are asking me, you are asking a hard thing. For me to give you my anointing, you mean I'm giving you all that I've labored for all through my ministry. I'm about to leave now. You're asking me to give you double portion of it. He said, you are, I, I, I like Elijah very sincere. He did not hide it. He said, you have asked a hard thing. But nevertheless, nevertheless, if thou see me when I'm taken from thee, Last Obush a God That's the line I want to get to. If you see me, if you see me when I'm taking from thee, hmm, hallelujah, it shall be unto unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. Straight and simple. There's no gimmick about it. 
There's no manipulation. There's no nothing to hide. If you see me when I've been taken, it shall be yours. But it was Elijah wasn't talking about physical sights. Because there were other, other prophets who were there hiding in the bush and watching what will happen. I believe that when Elijah saw Elijah living in glory, those people did not see him. But Elijah saw. Why? It was sensitive. Because these things we are talking about is a thing of the heart, people. It's a thing of the heart. It's the heart of the heart, the eyes of the heart that I used to see Elijah. It wasn't the physical eyes. Perhaps if you and I were there, we will not see. We will not see in our presence standing with Elisha, Elijah will leave. But because of desire, because of inner passion, because of depth of hunger, from the heart of Elisha, God opened his spiritual eyes and he saw fire of chariots burning and they picked up the man of God. They anointed Elijah. And he was taken to heaven. And Elisha screamed, I saw it. My father, my father. Oh, shout out of Israel. Remember Sokotilado, I saw it. He does a car. When he said, my father, Elisha, Elijah paused. Say, come on, look at this guy. So you saw me. Take. He <laughs> Take. Take the all of me. Take all my fire that I called down from the mouth. Come in. Take all. Take all the fire that I called to burn the 50 soldiers of the king that came to chase after me. Take all the anointing. Take all the grace. Take all the power. Take all the spirit of God that I carry. Lies, opash, ego, abalis, otagasha. Somebody is receiving something right now. You are receiving something. Ayetu kaze upayada. With all humility, my name is Apostle Marvin Omede. Receive grace and collect the anointing that is upon me because you hunger for it. It's not a thing you can see with your eyes. Iyetos ay abashaga. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is just coming to me. There was a time I was in heaven. Yes, I think it's when the anointing was poured on me by God Almighty Himself, the one that seated on the throne, the ancient of days, the King of Kings, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and last, with his host of angels. When I stood up, I was filled, soaked with anointing. Oh, yeah. Then Jesus told me, when I embraced him, they dried up. He said, They are there. He said, You will not see it. He said, They are there. What am I saying? I said, What you are receiving now, you may not see it. But if you search with your heart, if you listen with your heart, if you part after this anointing, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the anointing be multiplied upon everyone that listen and receive this video with their heart in the name of Jesus Christ. You say we will build team of seers all over the world. May there be one of those in the name of Jesus Christ. I await your testimony. I await your testimony. He said, if you see me, you have asked a hard thing, Elisha. You have asked me a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me, if you see me, when you listen to this broadcast with the whole of your heart, when you listen to details, go back and look at past videos. What is this man of God talking about? How can I get this grace? I've said over and over again, it was one of my mentor that said we should live in everyone commits to the earth. <laughs> when you meet Jesus, you don't want to come back. <laughs> you will not come on. <laughs> meet Jesus one on one. There's nothing like it. Evidence of Christianity, evidence of a power. I can remember an encounter when he came to drop me on earth. I will share that someday. That's 40 minutes in heaven. Awesome God. I didn't allow him to go. Go where I had on his rope. <laughs> it was he said, Mommy, let me go. I said, Daddy, go where <laughs> no, not not in this life, Daddy. You are not going anywhere. I'm who he has go where I as he said, Let me go. I steady my foot again. I had the rope. <laughs> you will hear, you will hear. But my desire is that you are hungry, you are hungry, and renew your hearts. Because a new wine cannot come into an old bottle. Renew your hearts. A new wine cannot come into an old bottle. Purge yourself of every dead work that we will serve the living God. God will visit you afresh. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. What did I say in this tip? Be sensitive to instruction from your spiritual mentors. Be sensitive to their instruction. It may be little, it may be minor. It may be minor, it may be simple. It may be too easy. When you hear it, but be sensitive. I will not hide a thing from you. I'm sent to teach and to share this encounter to the glory of God. You are blessed. It's a new day for you. You are blessed. God will lift you up. God will decorate your life. God will make you shine. All your desires shall be granted in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in due season. Your leaf will not wither. Whatsoever that you do, it shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. Have a great day. Congratulations. Hallelujah. I, I give glory to God. I celebrate Jesus. I'm laughing and smiling because God is awesome. I'm just being I'm sensing that it's a season of new things. And uh, for those of you that are listening and fellow following this broadcast, know that it's a new dimension of anointing. That's what I want you to understand. It's a new dimension of anointing. Where others are preparing to join in, you jump in. What? Let them meet you. Jump in, let them meet you. Because you grow in grace in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you speak in tongues, let's continue to speak in tongues for we'll begin today's broadcast. Speak in tongues. Let's Let's speak in tongues. Let's the tongues. Render your heart desires a duda. Zekos epa it was in ballet us ada. Je ukaya bales otiragato de gada. Move me to that realm, Holy Spirit. Cause my eyes to be open to see you. I want to see you in glory. E voile to ye ja chikudu. A vuda. E kaye to sakata. Prepare me a vessel. Prepare me a vessel for your use. Ye lose it to your gada. He said, Many are called, but few are chosen. Amuleus eco dash eco. Adeus aleus egedia sake. Ye torada eco go. Bayetos agadidi la da. Recuse. Jaukus agatore. Make me part of those you are chosen. Ye less okate regede. Ayatole koyata. Blessed is the man whom God chooses. Psalm 65 verse 4. Blessed is the man whom God chooses. A cause. Abo. Iwotero e bubu aleo. Cause to approach unto his presence. Who is that man? Who is that woman that has been chosen at this time? He no rather ke guada. He shoko. He say blessed is my own God chooses. Ye no ya ma yiko ya gada gada kaya gada 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 power. Masotia leush agetuza inara ya la sode ya koseku de bebe atero adaye to de 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 ye kate de kai ataka sakata. He say Lord open his eyes. Time may see. Lord, open his eyes. When Elisha's servant saw, she he saw that dead that be with them. It's more than dead that be with, that be with us. More than dead that be with them. Dead that be with us. Dead that kept us protesting and watching over. It's more than dead that be with the enemy. Yeah, last his courage was boosted. His faith was enhanced. That shall be your story. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is well with you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please be very expectant as you watch this broadcast because the anointing of God will manifest Himself even in healings, in different dimensions, in fruit of the womb, in breakthrough, in protection and preservation, in financial blessings. The same God that has been sustaining me will sustain you. The same God that caused me to go to bed in Pure rest and peace of mind. We grant it to you. The same God that has not allowed me to be sick in 2014 when I got my divine healing. Till death, there is no sickness or affliction or disease in my body. Is that same God that I am praying that will visit you in a mighty way? Are you sick in your body? Are you sick in your spirit? Are you sick in your soul? Father, I pray for divine healing in the name of Jesus. He said there is no distance in the spirit. He said his word and his what he them when all their it when all their destruction it delivered them from all their all their attack all their plague that shall be your testimony in the name of Jesus. 
It says Jesus was teaching in Luke five seventeen. I hear for as people gathered to watch, he said the power of God was available to heal them. As I share this encounter and teach, the power of God from the world will visit your spirit and you will be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are blessed. You are blessed. I'm sharing today's encounter as a way of letting you know how I began to see and to hear in the spiritually to see because I have been hearing before to see in the spirit realm. It happened May 28, 2020. I woke up early in the morning as usual to have my devotion and I turned on the TV screen. 6.22 a.m. was the time. 6.22 a.m. in the morning. And as I did that, I was watching a broadcast who is now my mentor, a lady and uh, another great man of God, the interviewer. And they asked my spiritual mentor, and I went and asked her, I said, what did Jesus tell you when you got to heaven? And I'll title this, uh, my first uh, practical uh, heavenly encounter. That's what I'll title, my first practical heavenly encounter. Because I want you to know how I began, so you will know how to carefully follow. I didn't start going to heaven at first. I didn't see Jesus the first day. What I mean, I didn't go to heaven at first. But I saw the face of Jesus as we hear in this testimony. So when I was watching. Then they asked, the interviewer asked my mentor, he said, How, what did Jesus tell you when he got to heaven? Because we are about to pray. He said, Jesus told me when I got to heaven that I should look down. So she was in heaven with Jesus. She looked down to the earth and she saw people stretching for their hands, stretching for their hands. And the man, the interviewer asked her, See, what did you do? He said, Jesus told me to bring them up. So I began to drag people up, drag people up. I believe that day I was among those people that she saw because she dragged me up. She dragged me up. See how she dragged me up. As I was still watching, the interviewer said, okay, good. If we pray now, do you think people will come to heaven just as Jesus instructed you? She said, yes. So let us pray. So the interviewer lifted up his hand. The lady lifted up her hand. I lifted up my hand too. And in the morning, I sat on my bed. I lifted up my hand. I was watching. Then I closed my eyes. We were praying. She was praying, leading the prayer. So we were praying. As I was close, I closed my eyes and she was praying. I saw a face. It was a face half profile. You know, then we, I could see the side of the nose, one of the eyes, slit like this, this eyelid here. Yeah. That one was sharpened. I, I could see it. Then I saw the mask. It was packed back. A black face, you know. Then brand new chocolate in color, not as dark as I am, but so you, can, you, can, you can say it's a black person. Then the, fa- the hair was pushed back. Then I saw the lips, the shadow that was cast on the nose and the lips. Those were the things that were very, very, you know, visible in that vision. Then I didn't know what I was seeing. It was my first time. I didn't know who it was. So then I opened my eyes. Not quite two, two, three uh, minutes of opening our eyes. I saw Jesus on the cross. The same thing I saw in that vision. The same side, the same end. Then, then there was no turn in my vision. But now there was a turn of, you know, on his head. Then it was near to the cross. I said, I screamed, I said, Mommy, that was Jesus on the cross. I said, that was, that was the beginning. That was the breakthrough of into my seer's anointing. What did I do next? That's what I'm teaching now. I sat back and listened to the entire video, believing my eyes as we opened. That was just a confirmation that what I see was Jesus Christ. I said, wow. And the lady said later in the video, he said, everything you see, be patient. Jesus Christ will confirm it in the physical. Remember, I saw it in a vision. A man's face without a thorn in his head. I didn't know who the man was. The man was. Then later, Jesus Christ confirmed it with a, a video I saw on the same broadcast. And I listened to the entire broadcast and took all the instruction. Now, listen to my first ever vision after that encounter. Me? No. <laughs> I don't, I didn't go anywhere. I desired more. I sat there and I followed. As she said it, say, close your eyes. As the Holy Spirit to encounter you through the gift of sight, through the gift of feeling, through the gift of hearing, through the gift of taste, through the gift of smell. And I ask all those things in humility like a baby and a child. And I close my eyes. I saw a woman with three children around 11th Street in my heart in here in New York. I saw her with three children. Then she was carrying a black bag with a, a lemon green ribbon. It's so clear. 
You see, my first day of sin, I could separate colors, carrying a black bag with lemon green ribbon on it. Then with a woman with three children, she was working in location I know. All these things called I was there watching 11th Street. I can't forget in Manhattan. Then later she said something. He said, We are we can do nothing, uh, um, we can do more. There's nothing can do more about Ado, something like that. See, now I didn't know, I don't know what that thing maybe this week will explain to me someday. Say, so We can do nothing more about Ado, something like that, you know. I, I believe it means that we can't do anything more than what we have already done here. Yeah. We can't do anything about the situation except God and those. She was telling the children. That was all. The first, that was the very first thing I saw. May 28, 2020 was that day. Then later, I didn't leave. I closed my eyes again to see if I can see more. And I closed my eyes and I saw a man. I'll call it it's 6th Avenue. We have Canal Street. Those that are living in New York know what I'm talking about. We have Canal Street crosses Church Street in 6th Avenue. I saw a man there stood. He had a plastic plate, like a plastic plate of, of takeaway food, you know. He had it. And he said, angels can break those barriers. And I love that word. I heard it clearly. Remember, I'm just seeing for the first time in the spirit, practically, and I'm able to hear what they are saying. That is grace. Maybe because I was hearing before. The way they were saying was clear. When I left that vision, I said, Mommy, you can see them and you can see hear them. That is grace. I was excited and I give God all the glory. But I'm speaking to someone here today. I don't know what you are facing now. I don't know what you are passing through. I don't know what the challenges are. But I have good news for you. That that man said in that vision, he said, angels can break those barriers. He said, we send this angel to encamp around us. Whatever is challenging you, angels can break them. Because he said, are there no ministry angels? Send a sign to those that has. Ah, uh, they not mean strange. Are they not sent to money minister to us to protect and to break barrier, to destroy frustration, to destroy attack, to destroy setback? He said, I will send my angels to go ahead of you three days and give you a resting place. Concerning that situation, God will give you a rest. God will give you peace. God will give you peace. God will grant you your desire in the name of Jesus. The man said, angels can break those barriers. Do not fret about it. Do not panic about it. Do not be anxious about it. Angels can break those barriers. In my notes, I rewrote it and burdened it. I darkened it. When I see, that's what the first thing I saw. I see. I open my notes. Angels can break those barriers. That's your word for today. Whatever is contending with you in this month of April, in this glorious weekend, angels can break those barriers. In the name of Jesus. Lord, cause these eyes to be open. Just the way you did mine. That's why I'm sharing my first ever encounter and my first practical encounter that I had myself when I began to practice. Father, let them learn from it. Give them a heart to learn from me. Give them a soft spirit and a soft heart to see in the spirit like a child and believe and the grace to go. Continue to practice in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Please continue to share and like this broadcast. It's a new day for you. I await the day you will see. The day you run, come running to this platform to share your testimony that I saw Jesus. I saw the angels of God. I saw heavenly encounters. I saw heaven. I saw the Holy Spirit. The sweet Holy Spirit. And we danced. I'm waiting your I wait, I'm waiting your testimony. I'm awaiting your testimony. I can't wait for your testimony. It's gonna be glorious in the name of Jesus Christ. I was sharing with someone recently. I said, those that used to desire to see angels, now they come in a flood. I will be with the Holy Spirit, the angels will be flying around. I said, seriously, it's awesome. God will give you a dose of your desire. The Holy Spirit will give you a dose, a complete package of your desire in the name of Jesus. There will be nothing left. There will be nothing left. In the name of you. God will feel you afresh. He said, open your mouth right and I'll feel it. That shall be your testimony. In Jesus' mighty name. Have a great day. My name is again Apostle Marvin Omede. A man sent by God to teach people to hear from God and to make the ministry of this be popular. That shall be your story in Jesus' name. Amen. It is well with you.